Hi everyone, welcome to Monitor Max channel. Here we discuss all things machine condition monitoring using the latest technology. We don't just give technical insights, we also introduce you to international certification bodies that will advance your career. Let's talk about compressors. Compressors come in all shapes and sizes, from small ones powering your refrigerator to massive ones used in industrial plants. But no matter their size, they all share the same primary function, to increase gas pressure for various applications. This increased pressure is incredibly useful for a wide range of tasks, from powering pneumatic tools to transporting natural gas across continents. In essence, compressors are the unsung heroes of the industrial world, silently working behind the scenes to keep things moving efficiently. Now that we understand the basics of compressors, let's explore the different types. Broadly speaking, compressors can be classified into two main categories, positive displacement compressors and dynamic compressors. Each type works differently and has its own set of strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for specific applications. Positive displacement compressors work by physically reducing the volume of the gas within a closed space. Imagine a syringe drawing in air and then compressing it by pushing the plunger. On the other hand, dynamic compressors increase gas pressure by accelerating the gas flow and then converting that kinetic energy into potential energy in the form of pressure. Think of it like a fan blowing air. Understanding the difference between these two main categories is crucial for selecting the right compressor for a particular application. In the following sections we'll delve deeper into each type, exploring their subtypes and common uses. Let's start with positive displacement compressors. These workhorses of the compressor world are known for their ability to generate high pressures and are commonly found in applications requiring a constant volume of compressed gas. Within the positive displacement family we have two main players, reciprocating compressors and rotary compressors. Reciprocating compressors use a back and forth motion to compress the gas. They employ a piston inside a cylinder, much like an internal combustion engine. As the piston moves back and forth, it draws in gas, compresses it, and then discharges it at a higher pressure. These compressors are robust and reliable, capable of handling high pressures and a wide range of gases. Rotary compressors utilize rotating elements to compress the gas. Instead of a piston, they use gears, lobes, or screws to reduce the volume of the gas and increase its pressure. Rotary compressors are commonly used in applications where a continuous flow of compressed gas is required, such as powering pneumatic tools and running paint sprayers. Section 4. Dynamic Compressors Now let's move on to the dynamic compressors, the speedsters of the compressor world. These compressors excel at handling large volumes of gas and are typically used in applications requiring a continuous flow at moderate to high pressures. The dynamic compressor family also has its star players. Centrifugal compressors, axial flow compressors, and mixed flow compressors. Centrifugal compressors use centrifugal force to compress the gas. They employ an impeller, a rotating disc with blades, to spin the gas outward. As the gas moves radially, its velocity increases, and this kinetic energy is then converted into pressure in a diffuser. These compressors are known for their high flow rates, compact design, and relatively low maintenance requirements. They are commonly used in applications such as pipeline transportation of natural gas and ventilation systems in large buildings. Axial flow compressors compress the gas by forcing it to flow parallel to the axis of rotation. They use a series of rotating blades similar to a turbine to gradually increase the gas pressure as it moves through the compressor. These compressors are known for their high efficiency, especially at high flow rates. They are commonly used in applications requiring very high flow rates and moderate pressure ratios such as jet engines and power generation plants. Section 5. Applications of Compressors now that we've explored the different types of compressors, let's take a look at some real-world examples of how these machines are used in various industries. In the automotive industry, compressors play a crucial role in everything from powering pneumatic tools in assembly lines to inflating tires at service stations. Reciprocating compressors are commonly used in air suspension systems, while rotary screw compressors provide a reliable source of compressed air for paint spray booths. 
The food and beverage industry relies heavily on compressors for various processes, including refrigeration, packaging and carbonation. Refrigeration compressors, typically reciprocating or scroll types, are essential for maintaining the cold chain, ensuring food freshness and safety. The oil and gas industry is another major user of compressors. Massive centrifugal compressors are used to transport natural gas over long distances through pipelines. In healthcare, compressors are critical for powering medical equipment such as ventilators and dental drills. These are just a few examples of the countless applications of compressors in various industries. Section 6. Choosing the right compressor. With so many different types of compressors available, choosing the right one for a particular application can seem daunting. However, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each type can help make the selection process easier. Factors to consider when choosing a compressor include the required pressure and flow rate, the type of gas being compressed, the duty cycle, and the budget. For applications requiring high pressures and intermittent use, reciprocating compressors are often a good choice. Rotary screw compressors are a good option for applications requiring a continuous flow of compressed air at moderate pressures. Centrifugal compressors are ideal for applications requiring very high flow rates and moderate pressure ratios. Consulting with a compressor specialist is always recommended to ensure the selection of the most appropriate compressor for a specific application. Section 7 Conclusion In conclusion, compressors are essential machines that play a vital role in countless industries and aspects of our daily lives. Understanding the different types of compressors, their operating principles and their strengths and weaknesses is crucial for selecting the right compressor for a particular application. By carefully considering the specific requirements of each application, we can harness the power of compressors to improve efficiency, productivity and quality of life. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, like, comment and share it with friends and colleagues. Also, visit our website www.monitormaxengine.com.